Hi everyone, this is Dale Pinker with ForexStopHunters.com with our weekly stop hunt review. You'll find the text posted on our site. Here's the visual on it. I want to remind everyone that only risk capital should be used when trading high risk markets such as FX, futures options, other derivatives, and past performance is not indicative of future results. Here's your hourly of the USD CAD. It made new lows for the move, so Basically, there are some buy stops above this level at the 93.29 level, 28.29. Then you go up towards the uh, 99.08 level, which is right over this high. And then the next major stop hunt, as far as buy stops, would be on the high of the week. That was the 9959 level. So most sell stops uh, have been elected, so there really isn't anything there on a stop hunt unless you go to a monthly, and that's quite a bit lower. So uh, the vultures were successful initially of taking out buy stops and sell stops. They had a great week in Canada. Moving over to Euro USD, we're looking at buy stops at the 38. 38 level above this high. We have to go to a four hour chart to look for the other buy stops. In fact, let's make it a daily. So, your next buy stop level is a high that was made uh, back in early February. Uh, February 2nd, that high was 38.60. And then, of course, we're talking about the highs of the move that were made quite some time ago back in November when the dollar bottomed and that high in the euro is 4282 potential sell stops we could move back to a shorter time frame are at 3702 which is going to be right under this pivot low right here and then you are probably looking at 3524 under this low move over to cable Buy stops in uh, GBP USD are going to be above uh, uh, initially perhaps this high, the uh, 6181 level, and then you have to move out to the daily for the remainder of important stops above the market, which I believe they're going to elect before a more significant high takes place, and you're talking about. You had the 62.15 level, and then now you're talking about the 162.74 level, and of course the highs made back in November, same time frame as the euro made that time frame, and you're talking about the 162.99 level in cable. Those are your buy stops. Moving to the sell stops in cable, you're probably looking at uh, block of stops under the 6030 level, the low that was made on Friday. Obviously, we're going to have some stops under this low as well in cable, and that's the 5986 level. So, that would be your key area there for sell stops and cable. Moving over to USD Yen, you had a negative week. So on USD Yen, we're talking about buy stops initially over this high, over 82.07, uh, then 82.53 over this high, and uh, the high of the week, of course, we'll have some buy stops at 83.97. You actually have to move out to the daily chart to look at potential sell stops, which are going to be under this low, 81.25, and then this higher low here that we had at 80.91, and then you have to go back to the low, the move at 80.23 to look for the big stop hunts to clean out the most stubborn longs in US dollar yen. Moving over to USD Swiss, most sell stops were elected. It had a very negative week took out the previous lows so these were new lows for the move in US dollar Swiss so 
Initially, we're looking for some buy stops that could take place over this inner day high on Friday of 93.18. Then we have to go up towards the 93, uh, 92 level above this high, and then potentially stops above this level recovery at the 95.06 level. Obviously, not as many sell stops going to be here at the low of the move because when you look at the US dollar Swiss on the daily where the stops they cleaned them out they took out the sell stops here sell stops here so you really have to go long term to look for more sell stops in this I will point out there's weekly divergence non-confirmation and daily in US dollar Swiss now we move to the Aussie USD this was our featured stop hunt of the week uh, was uh, our contention that the Aussie USD would not complete to the upside until it took out a bunch of stops above the market and that it was in a potential way for which implied one more thrust to the upside so in the Aussie you have your um, buy stops above 101.99 and this is back here And then obviously you have to go to the daily for the high of the move that was made before New Year's at 102.55. Sell stops in Aussie uh, going to be under this low, par 90. Again under uh, this low right around par and then this low as well. So this is Dale Pinkert. This has been our weekly stop hunt review. Wish everyone a good trading week ahead. Remember, don't just count your pips, count your blessings. Signing out.